And so, people, you able to hear me? Voice is clear. Voice is clear. Okay, good. Okay, so guys, um, for those who don't know me, this is Ranganathan S. Kundla. So we're going to continue the discussion of uh, the MCQ series that we were doing. We were, we've been doing this for quite uh, some time now. This is the 11th session. So there's already a playlist of the first 10 videos. You can always watch them. Now let us begin the first question for the day. Which of the following newspaper or journals was not from Bengal? IVC sites will be doing tomorrow, Sandeep. <laughs> I need to make that P PBD, so I'll be doing it tomorrow. Which of the following newspaper or journals was not from the not from Bengal? Yugantar, Kal, Bandijivan, Dhumketu. Not from Bengal. Yukantar is from Bengal. Bandhijivan is from Bengal. You should be get you should be getting confused between K uh, Kal and Dhumketu. Should only be getting confused between Kal and Dhumketu. Kal is actually not from Bengal. It's a Maharashtra newspaper. Which are the following were the causes for the emergence of growth of revolutionary terrorism in India? Frustration myth of the youth with the constitutional methods of the moderates and the passive resistance of the extremists. Failure of the Swadeshi and anti-partition movement to get the partition of Bengal repeal. Protection and cooperation given by the masses to the terrorists. Growing hatred among the youth for foreign rule due to radical ignorance of British and repression measures adopted by the government. Influence of the Irish terrorists and Russian nihilists. Select the correct answers from the quotes given below. Answer is C. Yes, answer is C. One, two, four, and five. Protection and cooperation given by the masses to the terrorists not really was there because the emergence and growth of revolutionary terrorism did not happen because of the masses. Good morning, Kavita. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Which are the following statements about the activities of revolutionary terrorists are true? Organization of secret societies in India and abroad, publication of newspapers and journals, pamphlets, assassination of oppressive British officials as well as those Indians who were traitors. Organization of military conspiracies, organization on raids on banks, police stations, and government armories, organization of mass public meetings. Choose the correct answers from the quotes given below. Good morning, Prapurna. Good morning. Answer will be D. Yes, precisely D. 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 Yes. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. All of these were true about the activities of the revolutionary terrorists and the revolutionary leaders. 
which of the following statements about the revolutionary terrorists are true they came mainly from the lower classes most of them belong to the upper class upper castes most of them came from rural areas they neglected the real demands of the peasants and workers 1 2 and 3 2 and 4 1 3 and 4 or uh, 2 3 and 4 1 and 3 ऐसे क्वेश्चन में काफी डाउट आ जाता है राइट आंसर इज बी टू एंड फोर revolutionary terrorists statements which are true they belong most of them belong to upper classes and uh, they neglected the real demands of peasants and workers It's true they they were this was one of their weaknesses most of them yes belong to upper classes and they neglected the demands of the peasants and workers yes parthman you're right next question in the modern indian history the ulgulan movement is associated with ulgulan Wasn't it Birsa Munda? Wasn't it Birsa Munda? Ulgulan movement in 1999. Munda rebellion. Munda Birsa Munda encouraged the tribals to refuse following colonial laws and drive out the foreigners, the Dikus, using weapons and guerrilla warfare. He also aided social societal reform by confronting religious superstition, earning him the titles Bhagwan and Dharati Aba, the father of the earth, from his followers. Ulgulan literally means a revolt. Ulgulan literally means a revolt, a protest. Consider the following statements with reference to United Nations resolutions are formal expressions of the opinion uh, or will of the United Nations organizations. Even GA resolutions are non-binding and generally recommendatory. Which of the following statements is or are correct? Yes, UNGA recommendations are generally non-binding and they are basically formal expressions or opinion or the will of United Nations organization or the group as such. The UN General Assembly resolutions are gender, always non-binding and generally only recommendatory. In contrast, UN Security Council has binding uh, considerations. UNSC is the only body which has binding recommendations. UNGA does not. Yuddha Abhyas is an army exercise between India and Japan, America, Russia, China. Yuddha Abhyas, this you should know. It's basically Indo-US training summit. 18th Indo-US training army exercise uh, was commenced in uh, 2022. 
somewhere about November 2022. Previously, it happened in USA in 2021. Is bar it is uh, last time it happened in uh, Uttarakhand. Is before that it happened in America. This time, uh, 2022 exercise basically focused on HDR, Human Assistance and Disaster Relief. Youth Abhyas is yearly exercise started in 2004 and has been the largest, longest, continuously running bilateral military project between two countries. Other Indo-US exercises are Tiger Triumph, which is of Army, Vajra Prahar, mainly of Special Forces, Cope India, Air Force, Malabar, Navies of America, India, Japan and Australia. Consider the following statements about the G20. It's an intergovernmental forum made up of 19 countries as well as European Union. It was created in 1999 and has met at least once a year since 2008. Which of the following statements above given is or are correct? G20. Yesterday, one of the minority representatives of uh, United Nations, UN, actually raised uh, objections to conducting G20 summit in um, Kashmir. And that did not go very well with India. India was quite angry about uh, unwanted expressions by unwanted people regarding Jammu and Kashmir. G20 is actually an intergovernmental forum made up of 19 countries as well as European Union. G20, the main emphasis of G20 is uh, to address the significant global economic challenges such as international financial stabilities, climate change mitigation and sustainable development. Yes, G20 is made up of majority of world's top economies. It was created in 1999 and has met at least once a year till since 2008. See, G20 basically emerged in the backdrop of, um, see, the global challenges which were happening in the Asian financial crisis. There was something called the Great Asian Financial Crisis, 1990s May. G20 started in the backdrop of that, the Asian Financial Crisis. Um, there were a lot of problems during that time. We'll see which G20 is made up of majority of the world's top economies because the group has absolutely no permanent staff or no permanent sort of grouping. And its presidency is on a rotating basis. G20 is organizing summits on a rotating basis as well. Okay. Which of the following were the causes of emergence and growth of revolutionary terrorism in India? Frustration of the youth with the constitutional methods. Failure of the Swadeshi and anti-partition movements. To get partition of Bengal repealed. The protection and cooperation given by the masses to the terrorists. Growing hatred among the youth for foreign rule due to racial ignorance. Okay, yeah, repeat one. Huh? I think this has got repeated. Sorry, sir. This is also repeated once. Something happened. Take a minute. Consider the following pairs. Pithora paintings. Rajasthan. Matani Pachedi. Punjab, Patan Patola, Gujarat. Which of the following above is or are correctly matched? Guys, the voice is clear, no? P. 
पिठोड़ा पे आंसर है सी थ्री ओनली पठान पटोला इट्स एक्चुअली बेसिकली डबल इकाता और पटोला वीविंग मेनली यूनिक टू गुजरात नहीं नहीं इट डिड नॉट हैपन चिताद्री टुडे वी विल हैव वी विल हैव वाइस वाइस सेशन डेट्स बैक टू लेवेंथ सेंचुरी एंड द साल्वी फैमिली ऑफ नॉर्थ गुजरात इज वन ऑफ द लास्ट प्रैक्टिशनर्स ऑफ द डिक्लाइनिंग पठान पटोला स्टाइल ऑफ आर्ट दिस द यूनिक फैब्रिक डिराइव फ्रॉम द सोफिस्टिकेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफिकल्ट टेक्निक ऑफ डाइंग एंड नॉट डाइंग on the wrap and weft separately before weaving known as bandhani so they do uh, they tie knot and dye and also the cloth is also dyed independently okay in fact the standard scarf of pitan patola costs anywhere between 80000 to 1 lakh rupees depending on the designs complexity mainly belongs to gujarat matani pachedi is also a handmade textile of uh, gujarat mainly used in uh, टेम्पल ऑफ रिंग्स यू नो टेम्पल में जैसे चद्दर चढ़ाते हैं ना उस टाइप में पिठोड़ा पेंटिंग्स फ्रॉम छोटा उदयपुर गुजरात रिचुअलिस्टिक पेंटिंग्स एंड डन ऑन द वॉल्स ऑफ रथवा भील्स एंड भिलाला ट्राइबल पीपल हाउसेस इट्स अ ट्राइबल पेंटिंग्स ऑल द थ्री आर फ्रॉम गुजरात ओली पिठोड़ा माटानी पचेड़ी एंड बडान पटोला राइट हाँ यू कैन पुट इट दैट वे वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन प्रोस्पेक्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इज प्रिपेर बाय वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फोरम यू एन डी पी यूनिसेफ नन ऑफ दी अबाउ वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन प्रोस्पेक्ट Twenty twenty two, the revision of world population prospects is the twenty seventh edition of official United Nations population estimates. It is prepared by the Population Division of the Department of Economic and Social Affairs of UN Secretariat. So, United Nations directly UN Secretariat Department of Economic and Social Affairs directly prepares it and presents the population estimates from nineteen fifty till the present, till date. They present it. ओके सो वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन प्रोस्पेक्ट्स कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स अबाउट उदा देवी पासी शी वाज अ फ्रीडम फाइटर हु जॉइन द रॉयल गार्ड ऑफ बेगम हजरत महल ऑफ अवध शी पार्टिसिपेटेड इन इंडियन रिवॉल्ट इन 1857 व्हिच आर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स अबाउट हर इज आर आर करेक्ट Uda Devi Pasi, one of the women in the Azadi Kamrut Mahotsav series. Born in Ujirao, she was a freedom fighter who joined the Royal Guard of the Begum Hazrat Mahal of Awadh. She participated in Indian Rebellion of 1857 as a member of the Women's Squad of Wajid Ali Shah, the sixth Nawab of Awadh. Uda Devi is known not just for her heroic stories but also her ability as a leader, who was able to mobilize people, particularly Dalit women, to fight the British. In Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav series of classes, I covered her. With reference to cultural history of India, consider the following: Kabir Das' writings had a great influence on the Bhakti movement. A major part of the Kabir's work was collected by Guru Hari Gobind. Kabir Das' ideology was greatly influenced by Vaishnava saint Swami Ramananda. Kabir Das and Data Ganj Baksh are contemporaries. Answer is A. One and three. Kabir Das' writings had a great influence on the Bhakti movement and uh, influenced includes many titles like Kabir Granth Avali, Anurag Sagar, Kabir Bijak, Sakhi Granth. The major part of his work has been part of the writings of the fifth Guru, Guru Arjun Dev, not Har Gobind. 
स्वामी रामानंदास इन्फ्लुएंस कबीर दास आइडियोलॉजीज वर ग्रेटली इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय वैष्णव साइंट स्वामी रामानंदा हु एक्सेप्टेड कबीर एज हिज डिसाइपल uh we'll do tomorrow morning we will do a revision session of sufism and uh, indus valley both sufi bhakti and indus valley statement for data ganj baksh was a 11th century persian sunni muslim mystic and theologian okay mission innovation is an in initiative of undp world economic forum world wild life forum none of the above mission innovation it's an initiative of vaitrai session evening today evening 8 o'clock 8 pm aaj vaitrai 8 baje hoga class raat ke 8 baje UNDP, WEF, WWF, none of the above. Okay, mission MI is a global initiative of 23 countries and the European Commission on behalf of the European Union. It is its aim is catalyzing the decade of action and investment in research, development, and uh, demonstration to make clean energy affordable, attractive, and accessible. This will accelerate the progress towards the Paris Agreement goals and pathway to net zero uh, emissions. <laughs> Which of the following statements about Nana Sahib are true? Nana Sahib was adopted son of last Peshwa. The original name of Nana Sahib was Dhundu Pant. The last Peshwa, Bajirao II, was murdered by Nana Sahib. Dalauzi refused to recognize Nana Sahib as the Peshwa and suspended his pension. Select the correct answers from the quotes given below. Nana Sahib Peshwa. Nana Sahib was the last uh, adopted son, was indeed adopted son of uh, the last Peshwa. His original name was in reality Dhondu Pant. Bajirao too was not, in fact, it was helped. Yes, it was Raghunath. Dalauzi refused to recognize Nana Sahib as the Peshwa because Nana Sahib was an adopt the adopted son and not the original son. And as part of doctrine of labs, there was specific aim to not recognize him by Dallu Babu. Dallu was not ready to recognize him. Which of the following acts was passed by the British government? Hindu Widow Remarriages Act, Abolition of Sati, Religious Disabilities Act, General Service Enlistment Act. Choose the correct answers from the quotes given below. Guys, is the slide not clear? It is coming perfect. Because I am currently streaming for perfect clear thousand and Thousand eighty P me ho raha hai streaming. Okay, answer is a C. 
One, Hindu Widow Remarriages Act, Religious Disabilities Act, General Service Enlistment Act. Abolition of Sati from uh, before that, no? Sati Resolution 17. Benting. Benting, Benting. This is British government in 1856, Sandeep. The question is very specific about 1856. Question is very specific about 1856. What was the ratio of Indian sepoys to Europeans in the British Army on the eve of outbreak of revolt of 1857? How many Indian sepoys were there per European? I mean, Kunal, on a funny note, Pele Sati Hotata, Abhi Shadi Hota. Answer is A, 4 is to 1. For every one uh, European, there used to be 4 Britishers. For every one European, there used to be 4 Britishers. Okay. When was the new Enfield rifle with grease cartridges introduced in British Indian Army? 1856, November, December 1856, January 1857, February 1857. आज बी सिक्स जा रहा है। डेली डेली नंबर्स बढ़ रहे हैं। आई मीन फर्स्ट डे आई हैड ओनली सिक्स पीपल। स्लोली स्लोली द पाप कम्युनिटी इज इंक्रीजिंग। एंड एक तरीके से दिन में आप एग्जाम का दिन में आप प्रैक्टिस करो या ना करो। आठ से नौ बजे प्रैक्टिस हो ही जाता है एमसीक्यू का। That that helps a lot. First of January 1857. First of January 1857, uh, the Enfield rifle bullets were uh, Enfield rifles were introduced. Which of the following statements about Mangal Pandey are not correct? He was a sepoy in the 19th Native Infantry stationed at Bharampur. Uh, in the March 1857, he single-handedly revolted and killed two English officers. He made a futile attempt to commit suicide when he realized he had the hopelessness of his situation. He was executed by the British. Choose the correct answers from the quotes given below. Aapke circle me, aapke groups me, aapke dosto me. If you think these classes are helping you, do let let others also know. Answer is A. A. Not correct. He belonged to 47 Native Infantry Station at Bharampur. And in March 1857, he single handedly revolted and no. Both the statements are not correct because the question is asking about not correct.
नहीं भाई संदीप हाँ हाँ मैं मैं स्लो ही ठीक हूं आई मीन हिस्ट्री इज थाली हिस्ट्री इज नॉट ब्रेकफास्ट कि ठक ठक भर के ठूस लिया If I am slow, then there are others who are like horribly slow. By the way, see, yes. Uh, yes, Sita Dri. He tried to commit suicide. He tried to commit suicide. Then British government saved him, took him to hospital, treated him. After he was treated, they punished him. <laughs> oh yes, he was. He 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 attempted to commit suicide. The so-called traitor, according to the British, whom we believe he belonged to, 34th Native Infantry, uh, East India Company at uh, Barakpur. He revolted against the introduction of the. Uh, P-53 rifle which used uh, greased cartridges with pig's pad and cow's pad and uh, Prince Charles gave the Murat clap for Amir Khan starter Mangal Pandey, the rising. Do you know this? Now this Prince Charles is only King Charles. <laughs> Mangal Pandey movie jo tha na, uska jo Murat opening, yehi isi ne karwa tha. The same King Charles. Fact. Sipa mutiny started on the 10th of May 1857 as the British had to reorganize their army, administrative and financial system after the war. After the rebellion, Rani of Jhansi, Mangal Pandey, Kotwal, Dhan Singh, Gurjar were all great leaders of the 1857 revolt. The main revolt was against the, uh, the introduction of the Lee and Field Rifles. That was the trigger. Yes, Sandeep. Nana Sahib Kanpur, Begum Hazar Mahal Lucknow, Rani Lakshmi Bhai Jhansi, Khan Bahadur Khan Ara, Kumar Singh Bareli. Which of the following statements these are correct? Pairs. In me, Konsa Konsa correctly matched hai. Nana Sahib, Begum Hazar Mahal, Rani Lakshmi Bhai, Raja Kumar Khan, uh, Khan Bahadur Khan, and Raja Kumar Singh. Isn't it B? Because Raja Kumar Singh is from Ara, Khan Bahadur Khan is from Bareli. Rana Kumar Singh, Raja Kumar Singh is from Jagdishpur, Ara. Jagdishpur, Jagdishpur. Which of the following statements about Tantya Top are true? He was brother of Nana Sahim. After the fall of Kanpur to the British, he joined Rani Lakshmi Bai against the British. After losing Gwalior, he escaped to Central India and carried on guerrilla war for 10 months. He was betrayed and handed over to the British by Ma Man Singh, a feudatory of Sindhya. He was transported for life by the British in April 1859. Which of the following statements is our answer the uh, uh, Codes given below. Tatia Tatia Tatia. Answer must be B. 2, 3, B. He was actually not the brother of Nana Sahib, but rather the general. He was the military chief of Nana Sahib. He was not transported to life. He was actually hanged to death. He was actually hanged to death. Which of the following classes participated in the revolt of 1857? Peasants, capitalists, artisans, old zamindars, dispossessed rulers. No, no, Kunal. 
Tatya was chief of Nana Sahib's army. Nana Sahib himself is the adopted son of Bajra the second. Answer is 1345. 1345. See, old zamindars and dispossessed rulers, pakka. Because they were becoming victims of the zamindari system and the taxation systems. So, 4 and 5, the pakka. Capitalists, very doubtful. Capitalist and intelligentsia, we were doubtful actually. That's why 1345. Which of the following rulers of Indian states cooperated with the British in the uprising of 1857? And not 50, 57. Nizam of Hyderabad, Gwalior K. Sindhya, Kolkars of Indore, ex Nawab of Royal Khan, Gulab Singh of Kashmir, and Raja of Jodhpur. Answer is B. 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. Not X Nabab of Rohil Khan. Khan Bahadur Khan Sahib actually revolted. No. Bareli say. He revolted. Which of the following were the causes of failure of the rebels? In 1857-58, disorganization, indiscipline, participation of the masses, common interests, decentralized leadership, use of traditional weapons. Oh yes, Hyderabad and Gwalior Sindhyas were actually the most high level supporters of the British. Mm. Madam, when Hyderabad is supporting, why would British want to enter Hyderabad? When Hyderabad herself is voluntarily supporting, why mess around? Answer is C. 1, 2, 5 and 6. 1, 2, 5 and 6. Participation of masses and common interests were actually the reason why the rebellion happened. But the question is asking why the rebellion failed. Yes, use of traditional weapons also. That was a major reason also, no, for the failure. They were not ready to use guns. They were ready to use knives and talwars, which was actually no match. Battle of Kote Kesarai. Which of the following were the main factors for the success of the British in suppressing the revolt? 
immense resources, superior military weapons and techniques, able leadership, assistance to assistance of some of the Indian rulers, end of Crimean war which enabled them to concentrate more troops in India. Select the correct answer from the quotes given below. 1857, PDF PPT karne mein wo ye ho gaya. 57. Okay. Revolt of 1857. Yes, Ramya. It was a very smart move by the Nizam. Because that way, Nizam could retain his autonomy. And Nizam eventually gained a title, no? The most trusted and the loyal friend of the British. He gained a title. The most trusted and loyal friend of the British. Answer is D. Yes. British had immense resources. British had superior military weapons and techniques. They had very able leadership. They had assistance from many of the Indian rulers. And also, the Crimean War ended in 1856. That way, a lot of British army could actually be diverted to India to suppress the revolt of 1857. Who founded Amrit Bazar Patrika? Susir Kumar Ghosh, Girish Chandra Ghosh, Harish Chandra Mukherjee, Surendra Banerjee, Amrit Bazar Patrika. Sisir Babu, na? Hey. Sisir Kumar Ghosh, he is a noted journalist who founded the Amrit Bazar Patrika, noted Bengali newspaper. He was one of the founding members also of an organization called Indian League. He himself was a Vaishnavite, remembered for the writings of mystic saint Lord Chaitanya and penning a book on Lord Chaitanya named Lord Gauranga or Salvation for All in 1897. Amrit Bazar Patrika eventually became the newspaper which converted overnight to English after the Lytton's Vernacular Press Act was introduced in 1878. What is the name of the Bengali monthly founded and edited by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee in 1873? Somprakash, Banga Duta, Banga Darshana, Bengali. Bankim Chandra Chatterjee, I am not talking Iswar Chandra Vidyasagar. Som Prakash kiska tha? Kyun yaar, kyun? Why? Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay, Banga Darshana. Was a composer Vande Matram, originally Sanskrit Strotra. Personifying India as a mother. His other notable works are Durgesh Nandini, Kapal Kundara, Devi Chaudrani, Anandamat, and Bande Matram. Dom Prakash Vidya Sagar ka hai. Yes. Who was the Secretary of State for India at the time of foundation of Indian National Congress? Lord Morley, Lord Elgin, Lord Hamilton, Lord Cross. This was a previous year question, guys. फस गए वाइस राय सबको पता है सेक्रेटरी कौन था इट वाज लॉर्ड क्रॉस यस इट वाज लॉर्ड क्रॉस वो अमन द फॉलोइंग डिड नॉट अटेंड द फर्स्ट सेशन ऑफ कांग्रेस एट बॉम्बे Bhumechandra Banerjee, Surendranath Banerjee, Badruddin Tayyabji, K.T. Talang. Who did not come to the first session of Congress in Bombay? Remember, the first session of Congress happened at Gokuldas Tejpal Sanskrit College, attended by 72 members. 
Umesh Chandra Banerjee was its first president. Alan Octavian Hume was its first secretary. Surendra Nath Banerjee did not attend the first session. He came from the second session. Badruddin Tayyabji, K.T. Telang, Firosha Mehta, the brothers-in-law, the three most important advocates, lawyers and leaders of Bombay attended the first Congress session. Surendra Nath Banerjee did not. W.C. Banerjee attended the first Congress session. He was the president of the first Congress session. He studied in Oriental Seminary and the Hindu school. He was a trained lawyer, successfully attempted to become a member of British Parliament but could not win the elections. But he was the first guy to attempt to participate in British elections in London. I really love his beard. All he needs is big goggles, leather jacket and a bullet. Zabardas Lagigadmi. Exactly, Thug Life. Surendra Nath Banerjee, commonly known, commonly known as Surrender Not Banerjee. He is also called Surrender Not. He was a, he was commonly known as Rashtraguru, founder of the Indian National Association. He died on August 6, 19, 6, 1925. Founded the Indian National Association with Anand Mohan Bose and used it to fight the racial discrimination by British. He merged INA with INC in 1886 because of their common goals. Cleared civil service examination but wasn't allowed to work due to racial discrimination. He founded the Ripon College, presently known as the Sanskrit College. In Calcutta in 1882. He also co-founded a newspaper known as Bengali in 1879. One of the first political parties of India, largest, was uh, Indian National Congress. Alan Octavian Hume, Dada Bhai Noroji and Din Shahidulji Vacha were, you can say, the key founders. Since independence, Congress has won six elections, led four uh, ruling coalitions four times, led government for a total 49 years, has given seven prime ministers. The best performance has been in 1984, 415 Lok Sabha seats. The worst has been in 2014, 45 Lok Sabha seats. Who of the following viceroys became a victim of one of the convicts during his visit to Andaman? Lytton, Ripon, Mayo, Curzon. <laughs> Lord Mayo. Mayo attempted to do something called prison reforms where he tried to improve prison conditions. To check the Prison reforms, he actually went to Andaman Nicobar to make sure that the prison reforms are being implemented properly. On his visit, he was actually killed by an Afridi Patan called Sher Ali Afridi in Port Blair, 1872. Mayo's body was eventually brought to Ireland and buried at the medieval ruined church in Johnstown County, Kildare, near his house, Palmerston House. Afridi was eventually hanged. In 1873, newly discovered swallowtail buffalo, Papilo Mayo was actually named after in his honor. And also the traditional Irish march, Lord Mayo, was named after him. According to tradition, it was composed by David Murphy to appease Mayo after Murphy angered him. He was implementing prison reforms and uh, for improvement of the prisoners only. In one of the implementation process only, he was killed. Which of the following statements is or are incorrect? Amrit Bazar Patrika was originally a Bengali paper. It became full-fledged English paper in 1878 in order to circumvent the Vernacular Presses Act. Whose time mein kaha gora security tha? Hindu was founded by GSIR and Virara Gwachare. Sanjeev Bhattacharya in 1883 was a Marathi newspaper. Bombay Times became Times of India in 1861. Kaha security vacuity tha? Even in 1912, Rasbihari Bose 
could throw a bomb on the face of Viceroy Harding directly. You can understand the levels of security even in 1912. Sanjeevan is a Bengali newspaper, no? Hindu founded by Ayer, Amrit Prasad Patrika became English newspaper. All that is right. Which of the following statements is not true? Kesari and Maharata are edited by Agarkar and Professor Kelkar respectively before Tilak became their editor. Harichandra Mukherjee was one of the greatest Indian editors of the 19th century. He was editor of Hindu Patriot for a long time. Robert Knight, one of the few English journalists who had sympathy with the Indian cause, was called the Bayanad of India by the Indian press. Bengali was founded by Surendranath Banerjee. Answer is D. Bengali was co-founded, not founded. Bengali was co-founded and edited by Surendra Banerjee. Which of the following was not the objective of Indian National Congress? Attainment of complete independence from British, promotion of cordial relations among nationalist workers from different parts of the country, development and consolidation of failing of national unity, formulation of popular demands and their presentation before the British government. Previous year question. Yes, Girish Chandra is the founder. Yes. Answer is A. Attainment of complete independence was never the plan of British at, of, of Congress at least until 1929. Which of the following statements is or are true? Before 1857, the British, while conquering India, treated it as one nation. British justified their conquest of India on the pretext of benefiting its people. After 1857, also they continued to treat India as one nation because they founded it useful to do so. After 1857, they pursued the policy of dividing Indians with less vigor. After 1857, they founded the usefulness of existence of native princely states. Choose the correct answers from the quotes given below. We are doing history from previous year questions of UPSC. UPPCS Nike up the Karinge. I've not checked it. Lakta Karna Padega. Uttar Pradesh ka bhot bada lakta. Answer, 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 answer. C, C, C. Karwa de to UPPCS ka. Aji paper check karke, questions ki banake, de de to. Chika. C, one, two, and five. They started to have two Indias, no British India and princely India. That's the reason they had two officers, Governor General and Viceroy. Yes, CDS also have history questions. Yeah. Which of the following is or are not true? British scholars maintain that India was never a nation. Indian scholars argued that though India had remained politically divided, culturally it has always been united. British refused to accept the Indian contention that factors which contribute toward the formation of nationalism were already existing in India prior to the coming of British. Indians rejected the British contention that nationalism in the modern sense developed in India only during the British rule. 
select the codes from the given uh, select the answer from the codes given below Answer is D. We agree, no? Indians did not reject. Indians agree that nationalism in the modern sense developed in India fully during the British rule only. No second thought on this angle. One of the main causes for the rise and growth of Indian national movements was grievances of several sections of Indian society except a few against the British. Which of the following sections were exceptions? Peasants and artisans, native rulers and landlords, middle class and modern intelligentsia, workers and industrialists, moneylenders and traditional Indian intellectuals. Choose the correct answers from the codes given below. I send the answer to be D. Indian National Movement. I don't even know why people were considering revolution. Main causes for the rise and growth of Indian National Movement. Native rulers and landlords would have never supported Indian national movement because in the Indian nation, native rulers would not exist. People got confused between national movement and 1857 revolt. Right? Money lenders and traditional intellectuals, native rulers and landlords never encouraged national movement. Indian press played an important role in spreading the message of patriotism and modern ideas among its people. Which of the following is or are not true about its activities? Criticizing official policies, urging the people to unite and work for national welfare, putting forward the view of Indians as well as those of British government, popularizing modern ideas of self-government, democracy and the like, enabling nationalist workers to exchange views with one another. Select the answers from the codes given below. Basically, activity is not true about Indian press. Answer is A. Only three. It never put across British government views, no? Last question for the day. Which of the following statements about Indian press is or are not true? The Bengal Gazette, a weekly paper started by James Augustus Hickey, an Englishman in 1780. Hickey, a pioneer of history of journalism in India, had very cordial relations with Warren Hastings, the then Governor General. The Calcutta General was started by J.S. Buckingham in 1818. Bengali and Amrit Bazar Patrika were the first vernacular papers in India. Which of the following statements is or are correct?
हिकी नेवर हैड कॉर्डियल रिलेशन विद वॉरन एस्टिंग्स दैट्स वे वॉरन के पीरियड में हिकी का पेपर ही बंद कर दिया गया था राइट द बेंगाल गजेट वॉज एक्चुअली बैंड एंड यस अमृत बाजार पत्रिका वॉज नॉट द फर्स्ट नीदर वॉज बेंगाली संवाद कौमुदी वॉज द फर्स्ट वन नाइट वेल न्यूज पेपर ओके गैस दैट्स इन दिस सेशन फॉर टुडे uh in this mcq series tomorrow morning we'll be meeting again uh for with another class today evening at 8 pm we will be having a class on vice royals of india a continuation from vice roy elgin onwards yes sitadri yes commissions okay thank you guys you have a nice day bye bye and those who are not there do join the telegram group plus students on telegram just search plus students and you can find there okay thank you guys